Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome to the start of a brand new FIFA 21 career mode here today on the channel. We're going to be playing as Roma on FIFA's Realism mod on Ultimate Difficulty. Got to say a huge thank you to FIFA and his mod team for making this career mode possible. Modding in a fully licensed Roma and Juventus. So this career mode is going to be a little bit different. As you well know, after Jose Mourinho getting sacked from Spurs, he's been given the Roma job. And we're going to try and replicate and potentially create Jose Mourinho's future success at Roma. So let me know feedback and suggestions, players you would like me to sign for this Jose Mourinho Saving Roma, Roma Rebuild series. The last time Jose Mourinho was in Italy with Inter Milan, he won the treble. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that in this career series, but the main objective is to win the UEFA Champions League, regardless of how many uh, seasons we do. So we're going to try and win as much trophies and silverware as we can. Rightio then, let's have a look at the transfer budget we're working with. 20 million, crikey, that's nothing. So here is the formation that we're going to be playing with this season. So transfers wise, I really want to focus on signing former Jose Mourinho players and also players from former clubs Jose Mourinho has managed to try and replicate some of the former relationships he's had at those teams. I also want to try and replicate the Jose Mourinho formation, 4-2-3-1. I know, what a travesty. Simpson isn't using the 4-3-3 attack <laughs> that I'm sort of known for. Um, we'll change things up just to see how we go this time around. I've also gone back to the default camera view uh, just to change things up let me know do you guys prefer the realism broadcast camera which is seen in my united career modes previously or the default fifa camera so this is the starting 11 my best starting 11 i think before we make any transfers so up top we've got the big don jacko obviously getting a little bit past it now well into his 30s 83 overall He's going to be our main hold-up striker for the series. Pellegrini, the next best attacker midfielder, in my opinion. He's been touted for Chelsea and Man City, but the dude's a really good creator. He's going to be being my sort of shadow striker role, progressing and bringing the ball forward. On the left and right, we have Pedro, who's getting a little bit past it. We might need to look to replace him in the future. Mkhitaryan on the right-hand side isn't getting any younger. But he's such a solid career mode player. He's so two-footed. In the two defensive midfield positions, we've got Vertout, the Frenchman, and Christine, the Dutchman. Christian Vertout in the two pivots. They look all right. We don't need amazing players in that DM pocket. Perez on the right back spot. Spinozola on the left. Fullbacks are definitely something we're going to need to invest in over this season and the next. And the defense for now, we've got Chris Smalling. Mancini, who we definitely need a better quality defender brought in. And we've also got Lopez in goal. On the bench, Mayoral. I'm surprised the former Galactico <laughs> is at Roma. He's only 76 rated. Crikey, his potential has gone down. Look, we'll keep him around at the club. He's a good lad, but I don't think his potential is very high. Pastore as well. We'll keep him for one season. Maybe look to bring him, uh, sell him in season two. And Zaniolo as well. If Pellegrini ever gets sold, we have a perfect like-for-like -like replacement with Zaniolo. Uh, Diawara as well, the former Napoli man. He can come into the defense if we sell Vertout or Christy. Santon will definitely look to move on, along with Fazio and potentially the goalkeeper. Now let's get stuck into the tactics. I do want to be slightly more advanced and expansionist <laughs> with my attack. I don't want to bore you guys too much with Jose Mourinho style of football. Okay. So, press after a heavy touch. Fast build-up. Now, I do like my attacking midfielders to stay forward. And I like my wingers to cut inside and my fullbacks to overlap. But here is the team. Here are the overall 
Ratings. I'm just going to pause and have a look. A lot of quality there. I've gone through and shortlisted a lot of players I'm interested in, but we'll just see if we get many of these from pen to paper. So the first player we're going to sign is Alonso from Chelsea, the former Florentina man. So for £15 million, pounds, we've got ourselves a brand spanking new left back. I did bring him in for his uh, free kick acclimate as well. 29 years of age, £15 million, pounds, not too bad. Former Italian experience. Spurs launch a £30 million pound bid. Get out of here. Now, we've also gone out and signed Rudiger, the former Roma man, is now back in Rome. We have sold Juan Jesus as well to FC Klon in Germany for £3 million, pounds, which will allow us to have a little bit more room in the transfer market. Also trying to get Eric Lamella on loan from Spurs. And we have. The deal's gone through. Lamella is back at Roma. We probably couldn't afford <laughs> his full transfer. But on a loan, a pretty good deal with our limited funds. And I've also gone out and signed Olivier Giroud for £7 million. Signing a lot. Oh, former Chelsea rejects. But Dzeko made his way to Roma. Why can't Giroud? So, here is the team now. I think this is my best team after those new signings. So, we'll bring the Miller on the right. Uh, we'll play Rudiger and Smalling as the defensive partnership with Perez going the other way. And Perez, uh, S not the Z. Z went to Chelsea. S is staying at our right back for now. And for the second team, which we're going to have to rotate, Roma do. <laughs> well, Roma do. So Giroud is going to be uh, leading the line. I wanted to get a similar player to Dzeko up top. My God, Pellegrini, hot topic. Look, I'd sell him for an insane amount, 60 upwards. Because <laughs> we'd be able to rebuild this team insanely. Uh, offers coming in for a lot of my players here, though. Okay, first match of the Serie A season, we face Atalanta. Now, we are in the Europa League this season. Thank God we're not dealing with that crazy confidence league stuff. So let's get stuck into Atalanta. Now, we're going to try and play uh, six or so uh, games here today. And we'll try and edit them down. Here go the boys. Vina Vinaviki. Vertout. Christine. Christy. Sends through Edin Dzeko. One on one. He shoots. He scores. Edin Dzeko on his Jose Mourinho debut. Just before the 33rd. Puts his laces through it. He scores. The former Manchester City man. <laughs> puts his name on the score sheet. Get in. Christy driving forward with his uh, from defensive midfield. I'm kind of liking this formation, man. Even this first half an hour, I do feel a lot more solid at the back. Pastore, second half now. Giroud off the bench. Pastore over the top. Christy can't quite get to it. I think it's a pen, is it? Or he might have potentially found him in the build-up. Christine goes forward. Oh, I think it's a handball. Atalanta, furious. They finished third in real life and have Champions League football. Um, I could let Christie take it, but I don't think so. I think we'll... Mm, do I let Giroud take it? Yeah, because Dzeko's off. Giroud on his Roma debut. Going to go to the right-hand side with the captain's armband now. No! Oh, he's missed an absolute sitter. Should have converted that. Christine, Pastore, nice one-two pass. Giroud trying to make up from that missed pen. Lamella on the left-hand side. Converts it. 2-0. Roma start off their league campaign. Two goals to nil. And it's an unlikely goal scorer there. Eric Lamella. 
in the dying embers of this match. The Tottenham Hotspur reject back at his former club. We'll also try and sign uh, some former Roma players throughout this series as well. Let me know who they should be in the comments. 2-0 for now. Come on, Roma. What a good ball win back. Hang on. We might be able to get a late opportunity here. Pedro on the inside. It's Olivier Giroud. Oh, I don't believe that. What are the odds? Three minutes after two minutes of extra time, Olivier Giroud makes up massively for his mistake, taking the captain's armband on Jacko, showing real leadership out there. Giroud for £7 million. What a bargain. We're going to be playing him off the bench as much as we can and on the second team. Also, <laughs> I would have liked to... I couldn't find a mod to get Jose Mourinho in, so I guess we have to make it me slash what his son kind of looks like. <laughs> but it's a pretty cool Roma kit that we got on. But yeah, Jose Mourinho CMC. That's what I just called it. So you guys could identify that it's my career mode. But 3-0, good victory to start things off at Rome. Okay, so we've got a match against Cratone. And we now sit fourth in Serie A. We can simulate this one. We should be beating a side like Cratone, and we do 4-2. So, no point of playing that one. Now, I've gone out and signed... A guy from Porto, Luis Diaz. He looks all right. The next best thing out of Colombia. Hopefully, he could be our next Hamas Rodriguez. Massive match here. The Rome derby. Lazio and Roma. We share a stadium. We share a city. And now we share a fixture. Match day three. Let's go, baby. It's going to be a good one. It's pouring down with rain in Rome. In the Eternal City, Lazio, on paper, probably have a better squad than us. Uh, Milinkovic Savage, Immobile, just to name a few. Let's get stuck into Lazio. Ball in, Rudiger. Oh, is that another penalty? Or is there another foul in the build-up? I do have handballs turned on. I might need to turn it off because this is getting a bit ridiculous. Ramos got to it. It might have been a foul, though. Uh, you've got your... I actually think that's fair. You've got your hand in an unnatural position there. You're sticking it far out. Now, <laughs> Giroud missed his. I guess I'll give it to Vertout. He can step up and take this. Oh, top bins as well. The goalkeeper went the right way. And Vertout scores against Strakosha. 1-0 in the Rome derby. And it's an unlikely goal scorer. The Frenchman, Vertout, stepping up to take this one. What a strike as well. Absolutely bins it top left. Beating Strakosha. Baffer Timmy Gomez signs for Inter. Dude, people forget about that Swansea Don. But Lamella makes it 2-0. I'm surprised. I'm just gobsmacked that... Gomez has gone to Inter. Where was he? Galatasaray? Like, his celebration's still in FIFA. <laughs> People forget uh, Bafatumi. Remember the name. Anyway, Lamella's there has scored a brace in two matches back-to-back. -back. A goal in the last one. Now a goal in this one being a brace. <laughs> but a good goal there against Lazio. Let's go. Vertout. Jacko, Roma holding up the ball well. Lamella went massively offside there, but Christie has an opportunity. Oh, it's the two defensive midfielders to step up for this one. Christine makes it three goals to nil in the 63rd. Probably clinching this match in front of the Roma fans. Vertout, Pastore, Giroud. Fresh off the bench. Gonna sweat it to Pastore. The former PSG man, Argentine international. Is having a bit of a second win down in Roba. And what a way 
to introduce yourself to the Roma fans. The Roma Ultras, Jose Mourinho, makes it four goals to nil against Lazio. Huge, huge rivalry between these two clubs. And that's it, 4-0. What a scoreline against Lazio. So, we've got a Europa League sim here. Our group isn't even tough, thankfully. Okay, so we've got a simulation match here against Sampdoria that we should win. 3-1. You. Okay, so Bologna here as well. Four games played. We sit at top. We can let the second team play this one. And 2-0. We're doing well so far. We're on a bit of a run. Oh, huge match here. Match day five against Juventus. Let's get stuck into them. Janisai. <laughs> what? Man, it's such a shame these two sides aren't licensed in FIFA that you have to mod it. Pellegrini through against Juventus. Shoots and converts. A golden opportunity. Pellegrini, remember the name, just before the 17th minute. Puts his laces through it. Fantastic technical ability to get into the area. And what a finish to top it off. Great ball from Dzeko. And Roma go 1-0 up against Juventus. Juventus, Inter, Atalanta, AC Milan, Napoli. These are the top five sides in my opinion. They're going to be pushing for it. We need to get as many points against these top sides as we can. If we want to make top four. Juventus, Ronaldo. Oh, back to Ronaldo. What an absolute belter of a goal there. Juventus answers so quickly. 1-1. Pirlo on the bench screaming for Ronaldo to go forward. And Ronaldo celebrates for the Agnelli family. 1-1 at Juventus. Roma determined. To come back in this match and put the old lady down, Pellegrini, Mkhitaryan on the left-hand side. He might be at it. Oh, yes, he shot it with his left. It's Mkhitaryan. The relation of, uh, what's the joke? Daenerys Targaryen. <laughs> Targaryen, Mkhitaryan. Yeah, no, no. There's a similarity there, I think. Scores a blinder. Good on you, Mickey. Oh, every time I hear the word Mkhitaryan, I feel so bad for him with the... Europa League final for Arsenal being able to play in it and just his career at United was so bad. Like, I love Mikatarian. Oh, hang on. Perez here. Golden up. Oh, couldn't get it over the top. Yeah, but Mikatarian, man, he was like amazing at Dortmund, but yeah, just had a bad time at United. I feel bad along with him, like Shinji Kagawa. There's a foul there. 2-1, Roma lead. McKenney looking to push the ball forward. Ronaldo with a nice piece of skill. Put in a tackle, man. Janisai. Come on, Rudiger. Get to that. Oh, my God. That is so, so soft. That is terrible defending. I was trying to put in tackles there. No one was putting in a good tackle. I think it just shows the overall rating of the players. More so than anything. Like, oh my god. Deba um, I think it's Dabala gets in there to Ronaldo. 2-2. Two, two. Look, I guess now in hindsight, a draw. Sharing points against Juventus ain't too bad. Especially away at them. But I would have loved the win. We deserved that one. Okay, we've got some Sims here. Torino, Sassuolo, we won. We drew in the Europa League, but... but let's get stuck into Roma. We sit atop on 23 points. AC Milan against Roma. Let's go. At San Siro. Don't know where they're going to be playing next year. <laughs> Isn't it going to be demolished? And, uh, 
Roma against Milan. Let's go, baby. Perez. Pellegrini. Vert out. No Zlatan Ibrahimovic, thankfully. Alonso breaks in. Ball into the box. Dzeko! <laughs> that is a spectacular header. And what an outstanding run there by Alonso. His delivery was great there. A little bit controversial, bringing him in because of his age. But Alonso can deliver and whip in balls like that. That's what I want. Those overlapping balls that he occasionally gives for Chelsea. Milan up the other end now. Zlatan off the bench. Palinio ball in. Tonali whips it wide to the right. And that was a golden opportunity there for AC Milan. It might be just the one goal victory for Roma. And it is because we fizzled out that opportunity there. 1-0. We'll take that away. But why is it so rainy in Italy? My God. <laughs> We can sim some of these other matches now. All right, and we'll end today's video off with a match against Napoli. We sit second now, Atalanta first. And it's again raining in Italy. I <laughs> wanted nice sunny days. Jose Mourinho, I guess, has brought <laughs> the, uh, the English weather with him. But Napoli, really good career mode squad. Lozano, ball inside, Osserman, newly signed man from Lille. Zielinski, maybe I should do a Lille career mode. Insigne, holds up the ball well. Zielinski, always scores against me. He scored against me like in recent memory in my United career mode. What a goal there by the Napoli man. 1-0. Ah. This Napoli squad... Really underrated. Always good in the Champions League in recent memory. Insigne brings it back. Kulabali. Bakioko. Osserman. Oh, Osserman's away here. Chipped over the top as well. Oh, that is a really, really good goal. It's quite fantastic, actually. Inch perfect. Chip over the top. But we've got to be doing better than that. 2-0 down. Pellegrini. At the other end. Oh. Good save. There's only 20 minutes have played out in this match. But being 2-0 down this early on isn't good. Diawara. Zeko. Pellegrini. Got his boot to it twice. But just couldn't. Nail it there. Smalling. Oh my god. Such a defensive beast. Wins that back. Zeko. No way. Smalling! <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> Chris Smalling charges through the Napoli defense like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> oh my god. 2 1, I guess. Zielinski. Insigne puts it over the bar. Corner kick now here for Napoli. They whip it into the box. Osserman puts it into the back of the net. Oh, now we're conceding really terrible set pieces. You can't be doing that, man. Really good header by the Nigerian international. And that's it. We end the last match on a sour note. So let's dive into the stats and see where we are after playing those matches. So after 13 games played, Atalanta sit first with 33 points. A little bit surprising, them being so far in top. So they're a point ahead of us. We're in second. Juventus third, Inter fourth, Napoli fifth. Lazio 6th, but there's only 3 points 
sorry, six points between first and six. There's only three points between six and fourth. AC Milan not in there, so it's all to play for still in this. Roma career series. We want to try and make top four. I'd love to win the league, but we'll just have to see how we go. We are picking up some good results against the top sides, but we're also losing to sides like Napoli and drawing against Juventus. We've still got the Coppa Italia. I'd love to make the final in that. Going well in the cup usually bleeds on to uh, really good results in the league. And look, there's no reason why we can't win the Europa League, even though Spurs, Man United are in there. There's still uh, Ajax, there's still a fair few good teams we have to watch out for, but there's no reason why we can't go and win it. We currently sit top of our group, seven points. Would love to be a little bit more convincing, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a lot easier, the Europa League, particularly than the Champions League this season. So unfortunately, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for Season 1, Episode 2 of my Roma Career Mode series coming out the exact same time tomorrow. Thanks, guys. I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code SimsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.